Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie. Today we're going to be watching some you know what's bullshit. This is going to be episode 33 and it's going to be oversized packaging. I don't know if he's talking about oversized packaging in products or oversized packaging and as in manlyhood. <laughs> but uh, yes, let's uh, check this video out, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> Bullshit! Look, oh. just look. I don't need to say anything. <laughs> Why does something this small need to have packaging this large? It's such a waste of cardboard, and it leads to more waste because oversized packaging requires oversized boxes to mail it in. I ordered this from Amazon, and when the box came, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I thought I got drunk and ordered a big coffee table book or something. <laughs> then I opened it and saw this. You want to get technical? The jump drive is two and a half inches long. The packaging is 13 inches by nine inches. And if you were to use all that extra space, I estimate you could fit 45 jump drives. Wow. Now this right here is how it should be. This is proof that it can be done. This is the same company, Lexar, and I ordered both of them from Amazon. If they're from the same manufacturer and sold by the same place, why did they come in two completely different kinds of packaging? Mm. They're the same product too. The only difference is the capacity. One holds 128 gigabytes, the other holds 256. You might say the large packaging is for extra security or some shit, like if somebody robs an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> then wouldn't you think the more expensive jump drive mm. would be the one in the large packaging? Yeah. There's no way to make sense of it. <laughs> Holding the big one is a surreal experience. It makes me feel like my hands are small, like I'm shrinking in size. Maybe this wasn't meant to be sold. Maybe it's a prop for the next Honey, I Shrunk movie. <laughs> also, this is a pretty serious piece of cardboard. You could break a window with this thing. To get the jump drive out with your bare hands, it would take a lot of force. Mm! Why do they make you have to use scissors? Holy shit, it even withstands scissors. You will not defeat me, you piece of shit! Jeez, it's been a while since I've talked about all this kind of nonsense. It's really hard because there's lack of time, but there's no lack of bullshit. <laughs> wow, that is so true. You know, I, I actually had that problem. Um, actually, I've got, um, coincidentally, uh, I actually bought um, some, um, as you can see, uh, some memory sticks uh to transfer my videos to uh, my laptop um because i was uh, sorting out the tiles for my videos organize them so i had to uh, you know buy some new memory sticks and the packaging oh my god the packaging oh god i was like trying to pry it with the scissors and the plastic and I, it just took ages um i mean it it must have took about five to eight minutes just to you know cut out the cardboard, get it out of the plastic container, because, I mean, it's so ridiculous, it's so, it's so hard. Um, I hate these sort of products when they um, overdo it, you know, just make it simple, you know, just keep it clean and simple and not overly too complicated. Um, so, yeah, that was a very good episode, I enjoyed that very much. So if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>